for all those celebrity deaths and insane political shenanigans, 2016 actually gave us some pretty weird scientific developments as well. From batteries that run on P through to the world's first three-parent baby, it was a pretty nutso year. But if recent developments are anything to go by, then this is going to be even weirder of a year. In just weeks, we've seen a human-pig hybrid, a skin-printing machine, and the potential discovery of a material theorized over a hundred years ago. This is our list of seven crazy recent scientific breakthroughs. At number seven, skin on demand. Making your own human skin suit is tough work these days, what with all the DNA to clear up, the funny looks at the dry cleaners, not to mention the kerfuffle in constructing a watertight alibi to fool the feds. But thanks to a group of Spanish scientists, this problem no longer exists, as they've developed the world's first 3D bioprinter capable of producing fully functional human skin. The printer was the result of collaboration between the University Carlos III de Madrid and the less flamboyantly named Biodan Group, who specialize in regenerative medicines. Their material mimics the structure of skin using a layer of collagen-producing fibroblasts. And it's so close to the real thing, it can be used in a wide range of fields, such as testing cosmetics, creating android epidermis, covering human skin loss, and, of course, the creation of a snappy little waistcoat for daddy. At number 6, Pig Man. In the real-life sequel to Babe nobody wanted or asked for, researchers at California's Salk Institute announced the successful creation of a human-pig hybrid in the laboratory. Now. I'm not sure making a creature that's addicted to eating strips of its own buttocks is something I'd refer to as a success, but that's because Johnny Cynical over here doesn't understand the ramifications of this amazing development. The point of creating a human pig chimera wasn't to exhibit it in some circus freak show, it was to provide a potential new source of human organs for transplant. In this experiment, pig embryos were injected with human cells to see if they could survive. And now that we know they can, we think it may eventually be possible to grow human organs inside animals to make up the organ donor shortfall. Wow! Meat, milk, skin, and now organs? Thanks, animals! You do a lot for us. Dang vegetables have got a lot of catching up to do. Haven't you, Mr. Aubergine? At five... A fitting end to fillings. I hate going to the dentist, which is why I've pulled out all my own teeth and now pay strangers to chew my food for me. But if you still own all your original chompers, then a trip to the mouth doctor may soon be a lot less painful thanks to a strange discovery made just a few weeks back. Researchers at King's College London found that a drug used to help treat Alzheimer's has a nifty little side effect. Namely, it can encourage your teeth to repair themselves. Your teeth already do this on their own using dentine, but they don't produce enough to fill large holes or cracks. However, with a kick up the pants from a drug called Tide Glucib, an enzyme which prevents dentine formation is turned off, and damage can be repaired naturally within as little as six weeks. Hmm. I mean, that sounds great and all, but it's not as much fun playing Mama Bird with Homeless Bill down at the bus station with my lunch. At number four, a new type of life. Ever wonder why the movie Gattaca was called Gattaca? That's because the letters G, T, A, and C are the initials of the four natural bases. Guanine, thymine, cytosine, and adenine. These pair up to form the base pairs of the DNA ladder. And different arrangements of these pairs create different life forms when arranged together. Everything from bacteria and baboons 
through to people, and Penelope Cruz, who is not a person, she's a goddess. Everything is based on just four natural bases. Until some crazy scientists decided to add two more. Researchers at the Scripps Research Institute announced the creation of an organism which held two artificial bases within its genetic code, making it the world's first semi-synthetic organism. Such a development has many possible applications, including the creation of organisms tailored to fight certain diseases. But right now, I'm more worried about the title of that dang movie, Gaxi Taxi? <sighs> you know, it's like they didn't even think about the ramifications of what they were doing to Ethan Hawke's finest work, did they? Gaxi Taxi? At three, an end to old age. In another piece of scientific razzle-dazzle from the guys and girls at the Scripps Research Institute, we may have just made one of the key discoveries in the fight against cancer and aging. A protein was identified which is responsible for determining the length of your telomeres, which is important, as this in turn dictates how quickly your cells age and whether they're likely to mutate into cancer. Telomeres, they're like your cell's little clocks. And this protein named T-Zap, yeah, it could be seen as some form of battery, determining how long the clock runs for. If we can stretch your telomeres, we may be able to delay the aging process. But if they're unnaturally long, then they begin to pose an increased cancer risk. It's much like riding a seesaw with whirring blades above and a pit of sex raptors beneath you. You want to aim for somewhere in the middle. Thankfully, T-Zap naturally prevents your telomeres growing too much by trimming them to keep them nice and short. And a further understanding of how they do this could help us get rid of tumors and wrinkles all at once. Awesome. Those are two of the top three things I hate the most, along with sex raptors, of course. At number two, hot dang. Did you know that the red hot chili peppers can reduce your chances of death? Unfortunately, we're talking about the food and not those delightful LA funk monkeys. Oh, that's not going to stop me using a bazillion song title puns in this entry. So, how does it work? Tell me, baby. Well, if you listen to me for one hot minute, I will. Researchers at the Larner College of Medicine in Vermont used data taken from 16,000 Americans over 23 years. And they discovered that those who dosed their food with spicy chilies enjoyed a 13% reduction in mortality rates from heart disease and stroke. Obviously, you can't stop death forever because passing over to the other side is inevitable. And even if you survive a stroke, you can be left in a seriously debilitating condition as each one leaves scar tissue on your brain which can trigger seizures, leaving your life's fortune faded. So, the knowledge that we can reduce strokes and heart attacks is clearly no minor thing. By the way, this revelation is old news to some as historically many people around the world already believed that spices contains mystical healing properties. But this is the first time it's been confirmed scientifically. And do you know who's excited about this the most? Me and my, me and my, me and my, me and my, me and my friends. We love spicy food. And in at number one, metallic hydrogen. The existence of a metallic form of hydrogen was first theorized in 1935 by Eugene Wigner and Hillard Bell Huntington, with the idea that if the lightest of all elements could be turned into a metal, it would prove to be a revolutionary breakthrough for technology. Super-efficient vehicles, improved electricity grids, stupidly fast computers, and even spacefaring craft are just some of the possible applications for metallic hydrogen. So you can understand why the scientific community has collectively soiled itself now that Harvard scientists claim they've managed to create it. Their experiment used two diamonds to crush liquid hydrogen at a temperature far below freezing point, because the pressure needed to create the substance is greater than you'd find at the center of the Earth. The metallic hydrogen is still stuck between those two diamonds at the time of writing, 
as it must be released gradually to see if it can exist in a stable form at room temperature. So it remains to be seen whether this potentially groundbreaking material actually can be used with purpose. And furthermore, some physicists doubt whether the results of this experiment even prove anything at all, saying that further evidence needs to be submitted to give this discovery credence. But I guess we'll find out soon enough if those naughty boys are telling porky pies or not. So that's our list. But if you're after more science-based intrigue of a different flavor, why not check out our recent video on the seven most devastating things mankind could discover? Because these are the kind of breakthroughs you better hope we never make in our lifetimes. <laughs>